Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can calculate profit, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So first we need to understand what profit is. So profit has to do with money, but unfortunately sometimes we get a little bit confused. So let's say we sell something for $50 that we made. We might think, oh, I just made $50, that's my profit. Not quite. It all depends on how much the items necessary to make that cost. So profit is calculated as a total amount of money that we get to walk away with when we know two other items. First, we have to know our revenue. So the revenue is the amount of money brought in. So in this case, it's going to be the selling price. So let's say we are fixing up an old wind-up toy and we want to sell it um, at a garage sale. So um, we sell it for $50 because it's kind of an antique and we, um, we made sure the motor works and we repainted it and it's kind of a collector's item. So there's someone that was kind of nostalgic that wanted to play with uh, or wanted to bring by this item because it reminded them of their childhood and they might give it to their grandkids. So you could maybe get something to sell for $50. It does not mean, however, that you have a $50 profit. What you need to calculate is how much did it cost to get that item? And there might be several costs so these are the things that it, the money you have to spend in order to make the product that you can sell. Well, first you had to buy the item. You actually got the idea because you were at a garage sale and you saw this. It was, an, it was all kind of broken down a piece of junk and you saw it uh, for $5. So you picked it up for $5 and you are a little bit of a mechanical wizard and you saw that really it needed a new motor. It's an old wind-up toy and you can get a new motor and you knew you can get it on Amazon and let's say you can get a new motor for nine dollars. So now that the, the wind-up toy works again because the motor has been replaced and it's got, the, it's got the ability to wind up, you still need to fix it up a little bit because it looked kind of gross. So you got some paint, some acrylic paint, a few different colors, and you got that for $15. You got that at your local hardware store. So now let's see how much it actually cost you to get that item up so that it was ready for sale. So if we want to add this up, we've got five and five. That's going to be 19. That's, it cost you $29, $5 for buying it, $9 for the new motor, and then $15 for the paint. That's the cost. So if we want to figure out what our profit is, we need to calculate $50 minus $29. And so our actual profit in this case is going to be $21. So that's your profit. So even though someone might have handed you a $50 bill, you're really only walking away with $21 because you had to put up 29 of your own dollars in order to get the item ready. Now, there's one other hidden cost that sometimes people don't calculate. And it's not going to change the amount of profit, but it's going to make you look at this differently. And that is going to be time. Let's think about time for just a moment. A lot of adults, they get paid per hour. They work uh, they might work at Walmart or they might work in a factory and they get paid so many dollars for every hour that they work. So let's say that you made a $21 profit and it took you three hours to fix this. So if it took you three hours to fix it, what we're going to do is we're going to take your $21. We're going to divide it by three and we're going to say, you know what? I earned $7 per hour. That's not too bad. That's just a little bit below minimum wage. That might be worth it. But what if I were to say this thing were to take seven hours? Well, now we'd be looking at $3 an hour, and that might not be worth it. So when you're calculating profit, also think of time.